I've come to see General Meng Tian. Ah, the general is receiving other guests, so make yourself comfortable. I should wait for the general over there. As you near the table, a tense political quarrel between Meng Tian and Zhao Gao draws your attention. Zhao Gao leaves, and you see Chu Huan's murder escorting him. Enraged, you rush to intercept him. But Meng Tian's men mistake your intentions and leap to protect their general. Can you order him? Cut! Put a weapon down! Uh. against Meng Tian, he refuses to be defeated and draws from his reserves. He disarms you, but just before he can bring his blade down upon you, the Tian Yen stone around your waist glows brightly, imbuing you with the strength to deflect the oncoming blow with your dagger. That... I recognize that glow. You know the Spear Master Wei Yu? I am his disciple. We fought side by side against the Shonu a long time ago. But what are you doing here? My village was burned by men wearing the uniform of the Qin soldiers, so I came here to investigate. And because of you, the man that destroyed my village still lives. I could have killed him if not for you. You mean you could have gotten yourself killed? That man Duanhe was with Zhao Gao of the royal court. If you had attacked him, you would not be standing here. At least now you have the chance to do it right. What do you mean? Years ago, when the Xiongnu agreed to our terms of peace, they sent a convoy of their people to show their sincerity. They were collateral, in case the Xiongnu broke the truce. And now they have. These Xiongnu are being rounded up in the city. If you want to learn more about Duanhe, that's where you can start. What does a Qin military commander have to do with the Xiongnu? Let's just say the Xiongnu have stumbled upon Qin military information one too many times for my liking. Why are you telling me this? Though we may not be allies, we at least share a common enemy. That's enough for me. Now go. My courtyard's a mess. And you don't know what kind of laws you're breaking. Over here! Why are you just standing? 
shooting door. I'm right here. I'm over here. Glad to see you made it out in one piece. The general says that the Purple Chin troops are acting outside of his command. So then, uh, who does command them? He isn't sure, but he suspects whoever it is is working with the Xiongnu. The Xiongnu? I saw some of the general's troops taking some Xiongnu to the Yangzhou prison. Yes, he told me he was rounding them up. If they're working with these Purple Chin soldiers, one of them might know more. If we can offer them freedom, Maybe they could help us. You want to break them out? Of the great general's prison? We don't know a single thing about the Xiongnu. Their customs, traditions, ways of life. If we want to travel beyond the wall to find out their connection to choose murder, we need to find an insider. Even if that means breaking into the general's prison. I... You're right. Follow me. I know exactly where the prison is. The general isn't going to be very happy if he hears you broke into his prison. Then I'll have to make sure he doesn't know it's me. Come on. We're here. It's heavily guarded, so be careful. I'll meet you at the market stalls in Yangzhou when you're done. Hopefully with a friend. This place is filled with the General's guards. 
I should try to keep a low profile. What is happening?
I have spent there. so many moons Xiongnu. living in this city. If I can get him I out, spent so many maybe moons he can help us navigate the city. lands. I am no longer in touch with the goings on of my people. Liar! Your Xiongnu people must have attacked the wall for a reason. Who goes there? If they. What? If they did, I am unaware of it. Come on, let's get you out of here. Who are you? What do you want with me? Escape first, talk later. Quickly, before we get caught. So I take it you do not work for the Qin Empire. I work for its people, not its leaders. No. And what do you want with me? I will explain when we are far. What is happening? So, I should thank you two for my rescue. You're both rather young. We didn't do it out of the kindness of our hearts. <sighs> I didn't think so. So, what can a lowly Chongnu like myself do for you? We need information. We plan on traveling beyond the wall and could use a guide. Someone who knows Xiongnu culture. Look no further. I am a subordinate of Tuman Chanyu himself the leader of the biggest Xiongnu tribe. In return for freeing me, I will show you the ways of the Xiongnu. Now, let us move before more guards arrive. I'll see you at the Beacon Tower in the Northern Wall. 
He's too friendly to trust. I'll keep an eye on him. Meet us as soon as you're able. That Xiongnu seemed too eager and willing to help us. He's hiding something. But I don't see what other option we have. <laughs>